Okay, so you've just finished making that video demo and you're not sure how to publish it as an MP4. I'll show you here. A couple of things to consider. Uh, one of the common questions or complaints about Adobe Captivate is that the resulting video uh, tends to be lower quality. And all I'll say is this, is that the resolution of your video created in a video demo is entirely dependent on your monitor resolution. So if you're recording uh, your screen and your screen is only capable of uh, 1024 by 768, that's going to be the resolution of your video. I've recorded this little snippet uh, here. It's 1920 by 1080. So the resulting video will truly be HD quality. So let's uh, take you through the process here. You can click on the publish icon in your toolbar. Alternatively, you could click on the file drop down menu and select publish. If you're a keyboard shortcut person, you can press Shift F12. I'm going to click that drop down and you're going to see a published video demo. Now, if you go with these settings, the default settings that are here, the quality of your resulting video may not be so great. So I'm going to take you through how I set it up just to get the best quality video I can. So I'm going to start off with a name for this video selecting email. I am going to publish it to my desktop, but of course you can choose any location that's easy for you, someplace easy for you to find later. Um, there are of course several presets and your instinct again might be to choose something like YouTube widescreen HD, but actually I would recommend against this. You can actually copy the preset values of any of these presets here to your customized settings. So let me show you what happens when you choose YouTube widescreen HD. If you click on copy preset settings to custom, you'll see that it's actually only 720, even though that the resolution of this recording is my full screen. In this case here, I'm going to stick with custom. I'm going to change these to 1920 by 1080, which is what my resolution is for this monitor. In this case here, always go with a profile and this has to do with the encoding process of high and choose the highest level of your profile. In this case, 5.1 is the way to go. Quality is uh, the way you can, you can set this up, but if you have a target bit rate in mind, you can change it to that and either choose a variable bit rate like this or a constant bit rate. I prefer to just say, hey, let's make this the best quality I can. Bump it right up to 100%. There are some people who would uh, argue that anything greater than 75% is not going to give you a great level of return. But if you're uploading videos to YouTube, for example, all of that stuff is going to get processed anyway. So uh, I don't really worry about file size uh, any longer anyway. The other thing you may wish to do, while recordings of your screen uh, don't necessarily need the high frame rate that full motion video would, uh, I still usually bump this up to a minimum of 30 frames per second. You could make it 60, but the reality is, is that I probably didn't capture anything that, that demands that level of frame rate. And a five second keyframe interval is fine. Before I hit publish, I always press test settings to make sure that my settings are valid. If there's something that's incompatible, it would warn you. And then of course, I'm ready to go ahead and publish this. Now at this point, it's going to give you a couple of options. I can immediately go to the publish to YouTube option if that's something you intend to do. In this case here, I'm going to do a few things to this video before I upload it, but I'm just going to start off by opening the published video. And here it is in uh, VLC. I'm just watching it right now and it looks fine. So a couple things of note, if I minimize all my stuff, Adobe Captivate and so on, here's the resulting video. Let's just go to properties here and take a look at the details tab. You can see here 
The frame size is 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 frames a second. So we have a true HD quality recording at this point. And now I can further edit it in whatever editing software you have. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.